and good evening and welcome to this week's edition of the Pete Mazzetti Show. My guest this evening is Stocky Clark, who's the Executive Director for Connecticut and Massachusetts for the Ronald McDonald House Foundation. Stocky, welcome. Hey, thanks, Pete. Nice How are to you? be here. Nice to, nice to see you. Long yeah. time no see. Hey, congratulations on your 100th show. Hey, thank you. Thank you. That's Without right. a meltdown. I, I know. Well, well, Absolutely. well, so far, we still got a little bit of time before we <laughs> before we close it here today, yeah, but right. we'll, we'll get going here. Absolutely. So for our viewers and listeners who don't know who Stocky Clark is, I guess, who is Stocky Clark and what role does he play with Ronald McDonald Foundation? Stocky Clark is the executive director yes. of Ronald McDonald House Charities yeah, I'm sorry. of right. Connecticut and Western Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. We're one of about uh, 150 houses okay. in, uh, around the U.S. Okay. and another 175 around the world. Wow. That is Ronald McDonald Houses. So there are other things, Ronald McDonald House rooms in hospitals, and there are care mobiles that travel around the countryside doing health screening and uh, optical screening and such. Mm -hmm. But we're all under Ronald McDonald House Charities, which okay. is part of, um, which is you know, a huge organization uh, funded by Ronald McDonald, uh, excuse me, by McDonald's Corporation. The yep. staff of it is funded. Uh, the staff in Oak Brook, Illinois, is funded by McDonald's. Okay. And I guess we're, what we're going to talk about tonight is you guys are building a, building a new house? Yes, absolutely. Let's talk about it. Well, <clears throat> as I mentioned before, we have yes. two houses, one in Springfield, Massachusetts, 22 bedrooms, yep. and one in New Haven, which is 12 bedrooms. Okay. Uh, the one in New Haven is the one that needs, we need a new house. It's been there 30 years. Wow. 10,000 families have been served wow. by Ronald McDonald House of Connecticut. Okay. And the Yale New Haven Children's Hospital came to us four or five years ago saying, we are going to triple in size mm -hmm. by 2019. We're going to become a center of excellence okay. for a number of procedures, including premature birth baby care, okay. transplant surgery of soft organs like kidneys and liver, cancer and other uh, children's diseases. We need you to build a larger Ronald McDonald House. Okay. And we're willing to give you land across the street from the Children's Hospital. Let I was me show say, you. I think we have pictures. Yeah. Yeah, well, let's. I don't want to be just talking the whole no, time. No, let's no, look no, at a picture. No. Let's look at a picture, all right. Here is the Children's Hospital okay. on Howard Avenue. Right. Uh, a lot of people know Smilo Cancer Center. Oh, yeah. It's right around the corner okay. um, from this. And here uh, is where our new house is going to be. Okay. Right across the street. So what's so significant about that? What's significant about it is that most of the moms and dads who are with their premature birth babies mm -hmm. in the 60 plus beds in that hospital right. don't want to leave the bedside. They want to stay there forever. They'll maintain a vigil as long as it takes. They get physically and emotionally exhausted. They need a break. Right. So part of what we're going to do is, is build a 20 bedroom house. Two of the rooms, two other rooms, are respite rooms, which are going to be for those moms and dads to come across the street, take a break, right. have some food, take a shower, take a nap, do some business. We'll have all those things available to them mm -hmm. uh, throughout the house. And just so I don't take away Go for your it. imagination yeah, too much, please. there's the new house. That's what it's going to wow. look like. Oh my goodness. It's, uh, it, it, this is going to be the final edition, okay. but we're going to start with 18 bedrooms okay. and two respite rooms. All right. and it's uh, be, been drawn, uh, designed by Barry Spiegels, uh, okay. of Spiegels and Partners in New Haven, who's done many, many schools in New Haven, as well as Sandy Hook. Okay. Very creative human being and has uh, given untold hours to this effort. We are very excited. Uh, many of us don't like leaving the existing house because it's a beautiful old uh, home right. that was completely rehabbed 30 years ago. Some of our volunteers have said, fine, fine, you can have a new house, you just have to move this one onto the new property. Yeah, right. We go, well, that's not really feasible. That would right. cost about twice as much as building a new one. It exactly. doesn't matter. You can't replace the wonderful, wonderful feeling right. of love and caring and hope and 
companionship and life sharing that exists in the current Ronald McDonald House. So you can imagine what our challenge is. Oh yeah. We've got to grow and stay the same. This is going to be 18 bedrooms to start, but eventually it's going to be 40 because of how many children are going to be coming from all around the state and for that matter other places around the country and the Caribbean islands to mm -hmm. get these special treatments that are going to be offered by Yale New Haven Hospital, yep. their wonderful physicians, nurses, and um, child life staff. So we're excited about it. Yeah. We're, we've been raising money. Uh, we need to raise a lot more money. All right. We're going to start building in April because we, we just need to get going. This has been going on for four years. It's time to get moving. We're going to start in April. We'll have a groundbreaking. Okay. And then we'll go into full construction in May. And by May 2017, yippee, it will we'll be, be ready for occupancy. Okay. And the hospital is helping us in all kinds of ways, aside from donating the land and donating the property next door, ultimately. Yeah. Yes. They're buying our existing house from us. And they're going to also give us a subsidy to help us pay back the rather large loan that we're going to have to take out mm -hmm. for whatever we can't raise. So. We're very excited about it. It's going to be a home for many tens of thousands of families over the next 98 years. Uh, it'll get rebuilt or rehabbed a few times, but it'll always be a Ronald McDonald house. Now, what do you think the hospital is going to do with the existing building once you guys move into? I have absolutely no idea. Okay. It is in great shape. It could be used as, uh, you know, as transient doctors come in for the residency or whatever. Mm -hmm. It could be a great place for a couple or even a family, but a, a single doctor. Uh, it needs upgrading. The re part of the reason we're moving yep. is because, believe it or not, we have shared bathrooms. Really? Yeah. We've got mm -hmm. 10 yeah. bathrooms throughout the house, but if you're a family with a pre with a excuse me with a immunocompromised child, a yeah. child that's just had right. surgery to replace their <coughs> kidney, yep. they have to be in a completely germ-free environment. Yes, they do. And there's only so many times we can clean a house in one day and exactly. keep all the germs out. So um, they need their own private bathroom, right. and we also need other amenities. There, there are things that no one thought of 30 years ago. No, that. Uh, will only add to the family's experience. Nothing will replace what we have now. No. Nope. The heart of the home, the living room, the dining room, kitchen is the most welcoming place in the world. Uh, it's augmented by wonderful volunteers who decorated. Uh, Macy's decorates this house every year. It's the most beautiful house in New Haven by a long shot. There are five Christmas trees. There are ornaments everywhere. They're creative. Really? Mr. Grinch. Uh, figures around. They're just ultimately creative and awesome. people delight in their ability to help the, the experience of the families in that house, whether it's over Christmas or over the rest of the year. They give toys and they give food and they give their hours and hours of service. Nothing will replace what we have now. No. But yes. the new house yes. will have a life of its own and the families that come into that house mm -hmm. will come uh, in various states of trauma and fear uh, and anticipation of the procedures that their children are about to go through. And the house will never uh, change in the sense that the volunteers are very single-minded mm -hmm. in trying to create a positive atmosphere, an atmosphere of hope, an atmosphere of caring, uh, an atmosphere of <clears throat> security and reinforcement that you just can't find anywhere else. And for a family that walks in the house, including the siblings, mm -hmm. what are they going to do? Right. How are they going to make it through this? Exactly. Well, there are the other families, some of whom have just gone through it, mm -hmm. and their optimism's going up, not down. Exactly. They're feeling better and better about their child surviving and thriving. And <clears throat> there are plenty of volunteers there to tell the story of someone else who was in a similar situation. And mm -hmm. it's absolutely marvelous to see that occur. It'll occur in the new house. It'll occur day in and day out because the volunteers keep 
there are about 120, there'll, there'll be probably 200 by the time that house opens, who come in and share their lives mm -hmm. and greet, phys, you know, greet the families, show them their room, help them feel more comfortable, and uh, even help tend one of the kids while mom's doing this or doing that. So it's a great mutually reinforcing environment with lots of good people. Now, what else do you want to tell us about the house? Well, um, it's going to cost a lot of money. It's going to cost $11.2 million for this portion of it, uh, okay. partially because we're building in all of the common spaces for a 40-bedroom house okay. so that we don't, unfortunately, have to expand dramatically all of the common areas. Mm -hmm. And we're building up uh, and bringing all of the services, the water and, and plumbing and so on, up into the... 10 bedrooms which are going to be leased space mm -hmm. uh, while we're uh, busy raising money to convert those to 10 more bedrooms. Right. And go ahead. No, so we have a huge fundraising drive going called our Capital Campaign okay. where we're uh, offering to sell bedrooms uh, for $25,000 or right. a whole uh, uh, floor for a million dollars. And we would love, we need to raise $2 million more right now okay. in order to take out a bank loan that we can afford to pay back. Mm -hmm. We are going to proceed no matter what, but we want to reduce our borrowing costs as much as we possibly can. Now, what people probably don't know about that is how do you guys get your money? Goodwill. <laughs> we have... Um, as I mentioned, the hospital's been very generous in yep. terms of both giving us the land and a subsidy and buying our house. Mm -hmm. But the McDonald's owner-operators, okay. God love them, have stepped up yet again. Excellent. They made a leadership pledge four years ago of a million dollars. Wow. They said for every pound of fries they sell, they'll give us two cents. So lo mm. and behold, okay. four years later, yeah. they've almost paid off a million dollar pledge. Wow. And that's given us the strength and the uh, ability to, to move forward. Beyond mm -hmm. that, uh, because we're, we're not well known, we're, right. you know, we're a pretty quiet charity because we only serve the people who need us and the people who need us have very specific circumstances. Mm -hmm. That is, right. their child needs uh, life-saving uh, medical care. So we don't have a lot of large donors. We have a lot of small donors. Mm -hmm. And so now we're reaching out to uh, people, foundations, family foundations especially, and people of goodwill who are willing to step up and support us, hopefully in a, in a very large way. And we've had some, some great donations. Uh, the Seedlings Foundation just donated $500,000 wow. to our cause. So it's absolutely marvelous. Speaking of money, before we go, before we go into... A break. Would you, if people want more information on the foundation, where on the Ronald McDonald House, where can they go? They can always go to the website mm -hmm. rmhc-ctma.org. Okay. They can call me nine one four four seven four three two seven zero. They can dial the house at two zero three seven 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 five six eight three. Okay. Would you mind sticking around for another segment? Why not? All right, we'll be right back. Great, take care. Really? Buzz, what's up, man? You left some leaves burning out here. Yeah, I, I just, I, there was a, I had, just came in just for a second. Come on, man, if it's too hot to touch, it's too hot to leave. You could torch the whole neighborhood. It's a good point there, smoke key. Nine out of ten wildfires are caused by humans. Only you can prevent wildfires. Here's to the things that can keep us safe. Those we use all the time with hardly a thought. Those that are silently standing by to save our lives. And now, those that we carry with us everywhere we go. Many mobile devices will now bring you wireless emergency alerts, real-time information directly from local sources you know and trust. With the unique sound and vibration, you'll be in the know wherever you are. 
And welcome back to this week's edition of the Pete Mazzetti Show. Sitting here with Stocky Clark from the Ronald McDonald Foundation, Ronald McDonald House of Eastern Connecticut in Massachusetts. Stocky, welcome back. Thank you, Pete. Nice <laughs> to be here. Nice to be back. So we were talking about the first segment about the house and the old house and the new house. And let, for those of our viewers and listeners that are just joining us, let's start this, this topic of conversation talking about the old house and the new house and all that other good stuff. Good. All right. Well, the old house is 12 bedrooms, served 10,000 families over the last 30 years, yep. and all of them have come with life-threatening uh, illnesses uh, that their children have, okay. and many, many, many of them have recovered and mm -hmm. lead normal lives thanks to the great work of the people at Yale New Haven Children's Hospital. Uh -huh. So it's absolutely wonderful um, to the extent that Yale New Haven Children's Hospital is really going to dramatically expand, is in the process of doing so, especially their NICU unit, their premature birth. Right. Baby units are, are going from 55 beds to, I think, 62. Okay. They're expanding uh, oncology cancer care, and they have this wonderful group of doctors who perform transplant surgeries to give children life-saving kidneys and liver transplants. So. Okay. Um, it's, it's a beautiful story. They're doing a wonderful job. We're very close with their staff. Uh, our staff, which is very small, we have a house manager who uh, works very closely with the social workers and the child life folks mm -hmm. and the nurses to make sure that the house is pretty close to full so we don't have to turn anybody away, but it, it, so that we provide families who need a home away from home with the best possible care and service that we can give them. Okay. So we intend to continue to do that. We're supported by a wonderful cast of people from Ronald McDonald House Charities, yep. uh, and also my counterparts, the executive directors from around the United States and around the world yep. who run Ronald McDonald Houses because they are important, they're needed, and they're wonderful experiences for thousands and thousands of families every day of the year. The new house mm -hmm. is needs to be there, and I'm going to show was, you a picture, say, we have pictures. of our new house right yes. across the street from Yale New Haven Children's Hospital. Right here's the Children's Hospital. Okay, you can look right across the street mm -hmm. and see that. Ooh, in May 2017, we'll be done. Excellent. We're going to start this spring. Okay. That is April of 2016. Yes. And we're going to build this main house. And ultimately, we'll go to 42 beds and build a house that's all on Howard Avenue. Okay. All can be viewed from a child's bedroom. So okay. that if, Excellent. if a mom or a dad wants to uh, take a quick trip across the street, right. they can just come right across the street. They can wave to their child exactly. across the street. Um, and uh, it'll be a terrific experience from that point of view. But we were talking earlier about, yeah. well, how can you recreate the beautiful environment that exists right. at the Ronald McDonald House uh, uh, on George Street, 501 mm -hmm. George Street. And the answer is uh, with people. We have great volunteers. Mm -hmm. We have 120 plus. Okay. We have groups that come in and cook meals from team building exercises of this corporation or that corporation to uh, fraternities and sororities to C civic groups, service groups, uh, all come in. And um, it's funny, uh, they'll be in the, uh, the kitchen around four or five o'clock cooking, you know, 100 pounds of spaghetti or yeah. lasagna or something like that, and there's no one in the house. <laughs> oh, good. Where are they? They're exactly. over at the hospital. Right. Obviously, right. but try telling someone who's cooking 100 pounds of lasagna that this stuff is going to be eaten. So I'll always uh, go in and, and say to them, folks, hi, I'm Stocky Clark, blah, blah, blah. Look, I, I bet you think that no one's going to eat this food. This and they're all looking at me going, that's right. What do we do? So I have to tell them what's going on. Exactly. That, that, that the families are, by and large, across the street. Right. Not across the street, a half a mile away. Right, exactly. And uh, they're not likely to return until probably eight 
a clock, but I can guarantee you this that by midnight, gone. there will be no food left on that counter <laughs> because I'll be here tomorrow morning and I'll see that there is no lunch for anyone. It's all gone. <laughs> it will be and gone. it makes them feel a little bit better. Exactly. But it doesn't matter. They no, come with the right spirit. They come, uh, you know, wanting to have a service project, wanting to share uh, uh, their good life with right. people who may not be in as fortunate situations as they are. And they often take a tour of the house. Mm -hmm. They often do run into families who are coming or going or some who are staying waiting for organ transplant or yeah. something like that. And um, those folks will still come to the new house and they will still cook dinners. And, you know, uh, Trader Joe's will still give us fruit every Monday and Hood Milk will still give us milk every single Monday of the year mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. We have so many great people who just give, who right. don't ask for a thing in return, right. and families who don't ask for anything, um, but who get a lot, a lot more than a home away from home. Right. They get lots of dinners. Mm -hmm. We have groups who, you know, call up and say, what can we do? Right. You know, do you want toys? No, no, we're done with toys. We have enough toys right now, but gift cards. How about gift cards to uh, the local supermarket to, right. Right. Uh, or to Walgreens for medication? Mm -hmm. And for many of these families who are extremely poor, we basically serve very low income minority folks. Mm -hmm. That's our population right. by and large. Um, if we're able to give them a gift card to help offset the cost of medication oh, or yeah. to be able to go down to the supermarket and buy some food other than what's right. given at the house. Exactly. That's great. So we get a lot of gift cards. Mm -hmm. um, and now, as I mentioned, we're really trying to get donations right. from people to help us raise this $11.2 million. Mm -hmm. So that's, uh, you know, uh, how do we replicate the new, the, the old house, the new house? We don't replicate it. We rebuild it based on the values that we uh, take with us, yeah. based on the people who bring their goodwill and uh, good tidings and uh, desire to share their lives. Mm -hmm. And obviously the families who come in filled with anxiety, yeah. filled with trauma, and know that they're going to be walking into a situation that will help mitigate to some extent or make them feel comfortable make them feel like they have a place to be for as long as they need it. For as long as their child is in the hospital, they can come to that house. And we'd love them to pay $15 a night. Some do and some don't. Right. Uh, no one would ever be turned away or turned out okay. because they, they couldn't pay. And that's, that's a wonderful, wonderful part of Ronald McDonald House. Exactly. And people probably think, oh, Stocky Clark's, Clark's is executive director for Ronald McDonald House for... Connecticut and Massachusetts, he's probably sitting in his office trying to get buried under right. the, the pile of paperwork. And Or is Stocky Clark doing that, but is Stocky Clark also out there being a man of the people, trying to talk to the people and be seen by the people? Yeah. Well, uh, sitting in your office is pretty boring. I would never do that. But no. <laughs> I'm often, uh, because we have such a small, small staff, I'm a, a jack of all trades. So I have to do a lot of computer work and phone work. But yep. I do that on the road uh, between our house in Springfield and our house in New Haven. I'm on mm -hmm. the phone all the time. But I'm also addressing groups, talking with uh, service groups, Rotarians and Lions and so on, and talking right. with individual donors because when all is said and done, no money, no mission. Right. If we can't raise the money to buy this new house, we aren't going to build the new house. Right. So, um, hence I'm on the Pete Mazzetti show. That's, that's right. Uh, <laughs> and and I, I frankly love to talk about it and love to share stories about the families and to talk about the need and the fact that we're not funded by McDonald's. No. Uh, sure, it'd be great if McDonald's wrote the check. Exactly. But that's not what they're. No. Nope. Uh, that's not what they're all about. They're certainly gracious. They, right. they give uh, staff and they give a lot of support to us. Okay. Um, and they help steer major corporations in our direction. Southwest Airlines gives us tickets. Coca-Cola gives us all this water and uh, drinks and so Product, on for yeah. our houses. And, uh, you know, it's all 
very wonderful. So oh. they're very supportive, and the owner operators, as I said, are huge champions and always have been by our side. Uh, but that doesn't that doesn't build a new house. No, definitely That helps not. us start to build a new house. Exactly, and yeah. and hopefully you get we're gonna you guys are gonna break ground in April. In April, we're yeah. gonna okay. we got to because the price of construction is going up. Yep. The need is there. It's time to put the hammer down, or rather. <laughs> pick up the saw or exactly. pick up an oar or whatever you say and get going. So we're going to get going. Exactly. And people can, if people want more information on the Ronald McDonald House, where can they go? They can go yeah. onto our website yes. at rmhc-ctma.org. Yeah. Or if you can't remember that, yeah. just punch in Ronald McDonald House of Connecticut. You'll find us. It'll come up. Or you can call us at 203-777-5683. Uh, mm -hmm. yes. And okay. ask for myself or ask for uh, Dick Popolowski, who is uh, head of our capital campaign. I'm okay. on the road a lot. I'm all over the place. Yep. So Dick's your man. Um, and we would love to hear from you. Definitely. I was going to say, yes, you are on the road a lot because you and I have had conversations at 7.30 in the morning or 8 o'clock at night. That's right. That's right. It's <laughs> the, one, the wonders of modern telecommunications, it I'm is, telling you. Tru oh, trust it's me. Great. Yeah. It, 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 it is wonderful. Yeah. And do you guys actually, do you guys, what partnership do you guys actually have with the local franchisees of the local McDonald's restaurants? It's very close. I address them at every meeting they have. Okay. They want an update on scholarships that we've given out through a national partnership, okay. uh, as well as we used to give out grants to small nonprofits with pass-through money. Mm -hmm. uh, but they always want to know what's happening with the houses. Are the families doing okay? Is there anything else we can do? And so they're always interested. Uh, uh -huh. There's a bond because we're the official charity of McDonald's. Okay. Uh, it was started um, out of need in, gosh, early 1980. A football player, uh -huh. Philadelphia Eagles football player's daughter had a severe incident uh -huh. and uh, had to stay in the hospital for a long period of time. Yeah. Long story short, they developed the Ronald McDonald yeah, House. Yeah. Well, Stocky Clark, I want to thank you for coming down. But before Pete. we say goodnight, I just want to take a quick 15 seconds because I know that's how much, how much time I've got left. This is the 100th show. I obviously cannot do this alone. I've got an awesome crew behind the scenes. You guys are great. Here's to at least 100 more. On behalf of Stocky Clark, I'm Pete Mazzetti. Thanks. Good night, and we'll see you next week. Good night.